Hi everyone, on today's Tips for Toggers, I'm going to talk about why your photos are blurry. Hi everyone, I'm Danny. Welcome to another Tips for Toggers, your daily videos on all things photography. Today I'm going to talk about why your photos are blurry, and I can assure you most of the time it's probably because of you, but let's talk about some common reasons as to why your photo might come out not quite as sharp as you might like. Let's get started. So firstly, your shutter speed. If your shutter speed is too low, then that photo might not come out. So if the thing is moving too fast for you, or maybe you're shaking a little bit, or your shutter speed is too slow, it's taking too long for the uh, mirror to come down and go back up, or for the sensor to come on and off, and it's gonna blur. Things are gonna be out of focus. There are ways you can deal with that. So holding your camera better, making a better support. When you hold your camera, tuck your arms into your body. Don't have them out here. Tuck them into your body, that creates less uh, bounce and vibration in your arm. So try tucking that in and make sure you're choosing a shutter speed that's appropriate for whatever it is that you are shooting. Next might be your moving subject. So that comes into shutter speed as well. Is your subject moving too fast? Maybe it is. Maybe your subject started moving after you took the shot and maybe that's why they're out of focus. If you're trying to take a picture of a car and it's going past and it's really blurry, it's because your shutter speed is too slow. So maybe it is because your subject actually was moving or started to move after you started taking the photo. Next one is you. What are you doing? Are you moving about? This is all about movement, this one. Are you moving about while you do it? Not just are you, are you handshaking, when you actually went to take the photo, did you kind of go like that and press the shutter as you were actually going to take the shot? It might be that you're moving. So have a think about what it is that you are doing and how you make yourself move less and create more stability for the photos that you take. Next up is your depth of field. Is your depth of field too shallow? We talked about depth of field a few uh, tips for toggers ago. Is it too shallow? Is it, are you making your aperture that low number so much that actually there's not enough in focus from your focal point and that's why things are blurring out. Have a look at your depth of field and see whether your depth of field is appropriate for the subjects that you are taking photos of. Next up are the wrong focal points. Are you focusing on the wrong person? So if you have multiple subjects in front of you, so let's say I had two people here in front of me, I'm using autofocus, it's gonna choose one or the other of those people. You can't do both. So maybe it focused on the person at the back instead of the person at the front that you actually wanted to. So maybe you just got the wrong focal point when you did that. Have a look in your camera where that little square flashes before the shot goes off, that is your focal point that the camera is using and make sure that focal point is in the right place. Next up, focus recompose fail. So we talked about focus recompose really, really recently. That's where you have a look, you half press the shutter and you focus on something and then you move and you recompose by placing that subject somewhere else in the frame. Now, Focus recompose can fail if that person moves, perhaps you get further forward or further back, even just leaning backwards after you recompose can create a loss of focus because they're further or closer away from you than when the camera actually did the focusing. So maybe it's a focus recompose fail. So have a think about making sure that you're not moving too much or that those people aren't moving after you focus on them and before you reframe them in the shot. Next one is dirty lens. It's actually way more common than you'd expect, but a dirty lens can actually either create blur, maybe the lens is actually foggy itself. Come on, really ask yourself when the last time you cleaned your lens was. So it could just be that the lens is actually a little bit foggy, a little bit blurry. It could be that it's dirty and that's messing with the, um, the uh, autofocus on your camera as well. So have a look at your lens and give it a bit of a clean if you haven't done it already. And then lastly, your ISO detail. So if you have a really, really high ISO, um, that can create noise and there can be lots of detail um, in high ISO. So that's okay when you look at it at the back of the camera because it's only small, but then when you get home and put it on a computer, actually it doesn't really look focused anymore. That's because you've lost that detail um, by going with a higher ISO. So perhaps it's high ISO. There's lots more reasons, I can assure you, but these are some of the biggies have a look back at your photos and have a think, why was that particular photo blurry and how can I make that better? But I can assure you, it's probably down to you 
and a lot of it can be solved by a good stable platform when you're shooting and making sure that you are committed, solid, that you aren't moving around when you're taking those shots and you're making uh, that photo as ready as possible for when you click the shutter. So that's it from me. Don't forget to like my page if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to share if you haven't already and leave a comment below. Let me know about some of your blur fails and I'd love to know about how you managed to uh, get over them as well. Stay tuned and as always, join me again tomorrow for another Tips for Toppers.